So according to urban legend, pugs have wrinkles because in ancient China, royalty bred them to have the character for prince on their foreheads. This tale is all over the internet, and even in some peer-reviewed papers about pugs, but if you follow their citations, you'll find that instead of citing, like, primary sources, they all cite a guidebook on keeping pugs, which of course has no bibliography. They also say that Confucius was writing about short-nosed dogs the very year that he was born, which, along with several other inconsistencies, leads me to believe that this is a myth. But I still think it's kind of fun. I like the idea of people finding information in something seemingly random, like wrinkles. In my last video, we discovered that there's a really interesting mathematical relationship between wrinkles, animal stripes, and convection. We also learned a model for simulating these kinds of systems. With these topics fresh on my mind, I got to see my family's pug on Thanksgiving, and the thought came to me, what if we simulate pug wrinkles and genes to pass on those wrinkles? Would we be able to selectively breed virtual dogs to have characters on their foreheads? The first step has got to be the wrinkles. Last time I showed you an equation for wrinkles on a curved surface, and if we make a few more assumptions, we can simplify this in terms of only two parameters. These roughly correspond to some combination of the stress and the curvature of a wrinkling object. Those two variables are the main factors that determine what patterns will form when an object wrinkles. The other deciding factor, of course, is the initial condition of the pug's skin. So each pug's genes will consist of three things. Those two numbers, and the initial pattern on its skin when it's born. To see what the pug's wrinkles will look like as an adult, we apply this equation to the initial wrinkles over and over. To find text in the wrinkles, I used a character recognition tool called Tesseract. It works with a lot of languages, and it gives the confidence for its predictions, so we can use it to decide which pugs to breed. For the first generation of pugs, I wrote a script to generate wrinkles from random initial seeds until it finds one with text. I did this until I had a dozen dogs. Out of those dogs, I picked the best two to breed. Breeding works by picking a random gene from each parent for each trait, then adding a small amount of mutations. For the two parameter genes, the mutation is just adding a random number, and for the initial wrinkle, the mutation is swapping some of the pixels at random. Just like in real life, the mutations are necessary for the pugs to have some diversity. After a few generations of this, I arrived at a wrinkle that I liked, and here it is. It's a uh, zen, or chuan. It means all or complete. Interestingly enough, it includes the character for king, which is kind of what we are going for. You, you can see it, right? I can see it. Yeah, it didn't really work too well. It's a bit sad that we reduced the pug to a 64 by 64 pixel image of wrinkles, so let's give it a body. There he is. Even though this didn't work very well, I thought it was kind of fun, so I just wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.